Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The notorious reality star Krishan Rock might go to jail for assaulting Tamar Braxton's friend and background singer James Wright. Now over the weekend, Tamar Braxton had a concert. She currently has been doing her Love and War anniversary tour. And she brought out Tony Braxton, which was a big moment, but she also brought out Krishan. Now I have to say, <laughs> I don't know what Tamar was thinking, inviting Krishan to the show. Krishan was acting a fool. I mean, she was acting a fool in front of the Tony Braxton. It was so embarrassing. She bent over trying to twerk on Tamar and Tony looked appalled. Like what? Also, she was harassing one of Tamar's other background singers. It was just a chaotic mess. It was clear that she wasn't sober. And I understand that Tamar wanted to create a moment. She wanted to bring her out there, but she just didn't fit with the crowd. She didn't fit with the ambiance. She just wasn't in her right mind, to be honest. So I do think it was a poor decision on Tamar's part to invite Krishan but I'm not gonna blame Tamar for what Krishan did. Now, backstage, things got really heated because Krishan got mad that she didn't get to perform. So instead of trying to resolve the situation like a normal adult would, Krishan decided to knock out James Wright, an innocent bystander. Y'all know James, he's the patty pie guy. He doesn't do anything to anybody. All he does is sing. But she decided to knock him in the face and Krishan was wearing a bunch of rings. I mean, look at her hand. So you know she did some damage to his face. And Tamar's collaborator, LaTroy, went online and put the whole situation on blast. He was furious. Dog, I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter But I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that, um, drunk with a thousand people, smelling like weed, looking dumb, okay? And so she, apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And apparently she wanted to drop a beat. So she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool, okay? So now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War, she ruined the song, she ruined the concert, she ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus, right? So everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there rough, rough, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like, nobody tried to, like, shade you. We we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital right now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them. And I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Croissant know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. <clears throat> I was attacked for no reason, but no. Like, all the assumptions and how people feel and what people think they know, I am at the point right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed, and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying 
what didn't happen. It didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is be. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is, it's toe up. So right now, I have to get teeth fixed. Uh -huh. I'm not going to show my face, but I will show that I'm at the dentist right now. Right now, like I said, I'm getting my teeth fixed. I was attacked for no reason. The anger of the, the anger or whatever the issue was, wasn't towards me. So that's why I'm saying I was attacked for no reason. Yes, I know I don't owe anyone anything, but enough with the blaming everybody else but the person that do this. So that's what happened. And this is why I think Tamar should have never invited Krishan to the show because it's clear that there's a disconnect. Like people in Tamar's age group don't know Krishan for being an artist. They know her for being on reality TV and they know her for her drama with Blueface, but they don't know that she's actually an artist. And I could understand why she would think that she was invited to perform but she wasn't invited for that reason. I think Tamar just wanted to meet her and she wanted to create a moment with her on stage. I also think it was for marketing. I think that Tamar knew that if she brought Krishan out, the blogs would post about it and it would bring more attention to her show. She also brought out her superstar sister, Tony Braxton, for that very same reason. So Tamar knows what she's doing and it's not that Tamar needs the clout, but she understands that creating moments like this gets more people interested in her show and more people will want to come out and buy tickets and see it. So Tamar attempted to create a moment with Krishan, but the moment backfired completely. Now Krishan did respond to the allegations and of course she didn't take any accountability. I don't know what was miscommunicated or what was plotted against me, but I was supposed to perform. Usually when I get invited out to perform at a show, I let you say it like, oh yeah, okay, you're gonna perform after this set, blah, blah, like Sexy Red, Glorilla, like, not like that, but I've been brought out before and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff, so, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting. Just waiting till, I don't know, it was time to work, you know? So that's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened. She did that. I don't know what that, I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I, I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So um, it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh, it was some other sh Like the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together. He didn't put anything together. And I never talked to him. Um, I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out. And that was that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is because I never talked to him. The guy that got that. He not gay, but he like, whatever, he like boys. Him, I don't know how you say, I don't want to be rude, like, because I'm not honest. But, nah, it was nothing between me and Tamar. I had nothing to do with any of that, but I don't know who's, I don't know. It was just, like, wicked stuff start happening, and then, I don't know. And then I let that go. I went, like, I went to a party. Went back home to my kid. But, like, I don't. I have fun. Now, LaTroy did react to Krishan saying that she never spoke to him. LaTroy actually was in contact with somebody from Krishan's team. And in the text, you could see that it was clear that she was invited, but it was never confirmed that she was actually going to perform. Now, I will say I do understand Krishan's perspective in thinking that she was invited to perform. I don't think it was really communicated to her clearly that she wouldn't perform. She was just invited to make an appearance. So I do understand where Krishan is coming from in that aspect, but it still doesn't give her a right to get mad and sucker punch somebody all because she didn't get to do what she wanted to do. 
And see, this is the problem with Krishan. She goes around causing chaos and acting reckless and attacking people. And at this point, it's tired. I don't think Krishan is gonna truly learn from her behavior unless she faces some serious repercussions. She has been allowed to get away with a lot, but at this point, she really needs to be held accountable because if she continues to act this way, she might swing on the wrong person and it could turn deadly. So she needs to face some repercussions now and hopefully she can learn from her behavior. Now, Krishan did say that she was deactivating all of her pages and she said she was changing her address. So it seems like she's trying to duck this arrest, but Latroy said that's not gonna stop the police report from coming out. So it's clear that they are not playing around with her. Tamar did reveal that James got his tooth chipped and he had gum damage, a busted nose and a concussion. So these injuries were serious. So they're not playing around and Krishan could be facing some jail time. It is unfortunate, but honestly, this is the only way she will learn. She's a mother now and she has to act right. If she doesn't learn now, she's gonna pay later. One thing I do hope though is I do hope that this doesn't affect her parental rights. I don't wanna see her child taken away from her. I know some people think that her child should be snatched up, but honestly, I don't want that. I just want her to get a serious wake up call so she could change for the better because that's what she needs. She needs to be held accountable and she needs to know that you can't be going around hitting people when you don't get your way. Now, Tamar Braxton did address the situation and she was silent for a little bit and she was called out for her silence. In fact, her collaborator, LaTroy, was calling her out as well. He was really upset that Tamar wasn't saying anything. And I saw him post subs on his IG story saying, people always wanna say, stop giving things attention, but when it happens to them, they wanna throw a whole press conference. So it's clear that he was probably shading Tamar but Tamar did finally speak out. Um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and, and it was by Krishan, but um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for our the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't. I don't need that. Like my circle is this small. You know, I um, don't have to sell tickets for. You know, like oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, 
she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. Um, and like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. We want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I didn't, I don't know. Um, I don't, I didn't know any of them really. The only person that I knew was Nivea, you know, um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and, you know, giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you, if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people, you know, Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. Um, Everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me. I try to always do the, do the right thing um, by people. Um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes um and everybody that's come to a tay Marsha show know that we don't have any violence no one has ever fought at my concerts we laugh we cry people have passed out you know due to you know being you know inebriated or you know just excited at being at a concert but this is a a, a safe loving healing place and um i don't know i I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized and especially James, he was assaulted and he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that, you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height. For height, no, no one... I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame, they feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Um, but um, I, I'm doing this video for, for my staff and for my team who believed in me and who has helped support me, Troy especially, you know, who has been the most passionate about this. And he should have, you know, um, he's my partner. And, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. And um, I, I really honestly, truly wish none of this happened. Um, we are still doing part two. Um, like I said before, we don't fight at our concerts. We don't we don't even everybody who has gone has had a lovely, fun family setting and time. And um, I don't know. I it, it's just unfortunate. And let me just tell you how amazing James is like. No matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like.
I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And um, I don't know. I just felt like on behalf of my team, being the leader, sometimes you don't know, you know, what role to take. And I just want everybody to know. I just want everybody to know that I'm sorry. And um, I don't know. Um, but I won't be speaking about this anymore. It's, this has really hit us hard, you know, and um, it really hit us all hard. No one deserved it, you know, and no one wanted to hurt anybody, and no one wanted to disrespect anybody, and nobody wanted to set anybody up. I mean, just wanted to have a good time. Um, so um, I love you guys. And I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm sorry, James. You're an amazing person. This should have never happened. Um, and I'm also sorry, Krishan, that you feel like in, in your life that everybody is out to get you. That must be a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. I love you. I'm glad that Tamer spoke out. I know the situation was pretty embarrassing and I know she blames herself because she was the one who invited Krishan to the show. And she knows that if she didn't invite Krishan, none of this would have ever happened. So I know she feels regretful now, but I am glad that she spoke out and she is standing with her friend James. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.